Maybe down here. <coughs> okay. Well, another project. My uh, dinner table. Um, a little lap of breakfast and bed table. And, uh, they can be used for lap desks. I don't want to pull it apart right now. But I think you can kind of see that crack. Well, it runs all the way to the other end. It actually also runs around this way about halfway right now. It runs all the way to the other end. This whole side just broke out the other day. The legs flipped down like they were on hinges. And I shoved it back together. All the little holding the crossbars, the braces, there's one there and one on the bottom. It's, I can't get, I guess I should just back up a little bit if I can. It didn't dawn on me to do that. I, mean, I thought I had everything where I wanted it. Yeah. I'm trying to get uh, to where I can show what I'm going to be doing, but be as close as possible is what I was trying to do. All right, I think that's about all right. I just kind of remember not to go too far to the right. Could try and back up a little more, I guess. I don't know. Got the chair kind of in the way. Yeah, let's raise this up a little bit. The main thing I want is, I thought I had it all set. Sorry. The uh, main thing I want is to get, get uh, what I'm doing, what I, I want to be able to get what I'm doing and setting down, but also when it's setting up. But what I'm going to do here is, uh, see if I can show this. This is the size of nail I'm going to use. And I've already cut the head off of it so that it'll go up in the drill nice. I've been doing this for years. I don't know if somebody, I think I discovered it. I discovered it on my own. I kind of remember I was really young. I think I was grown. No, I discovered it when I was a kid. One of the first tools I ever got, the first tool, like power tool I ever got was not this. This is an old lady's Makita that I got back when I worked in the cabinet shop. It still works. I had a little skill, I think it was. And uh, I wore that one out before I got to be 15. But, uh, and I had uh, a pennies circular saw that I got a few, when I was around 12, I think. And it still works. It's bearings are worn out, but I just squirt some grease in them, um, some Bus Buster or W40 on them, and go again. I use it to cut metal off with it. Out. I don't use it. I keep a metal cut off saw in it, blade in it. But anyway, I'm going to put this. The point, my, my whole point that I got off from is uh, when you want to drill a hole, this is bamboo. It's really hard. And it's um, really pretty. Off. I think there might be something wrong with that. There, right? Okay, got it. I think it's the cord for my life. Or it's this, I'm using a little three-way so I can plug in my drill and my light. It's the three-way losing connection. Now it's stuck. Yeah, as soon as I lay it, go to lay it down, it quits. That means my drill will probably want to quit. It's not. Well, maybe it is my cord. Okay, let's unplug this three-way and see. You know, I haven't been able to do much. It's been two years that I had my health down. And I haven't been able to do much of anything. Everything is just fell apart. Seems like even stuff I never touched. Okay, now it's not the cord. Yeah, it's it's that three-way. I didn't have any idea. I've got a real nice six-way. It's, it's good, made out of steel, made of steel cover and everything. Pretty tough, but the switch I wore the switch out, switching the air compressor on and off with it. I just needs a new switch. 
Another, another little quick project that ends up being lasting forever. I don't know what's wrong with this little thing. I hardly ever use it, but it seems like maybe it's not internally there may be something loose. It doesn't have screws to take it apart. Imagine you could snap it apart. But I don't know. I like to keep tools in here and there. Like I used here and there and everywhere in different boxes, you know. So uh, no telling exactly where it might be. I don't have another power source over this way. Oh, but what I can do is move my light. Okay, you are not any good, I don't think. I think I need the light. I thought I needed it just so I could see. The video kind of looks better without it, I think. If I can see without it, I won't use it. Because... I can't get around with it in the way. Just put it, put it back. Oh, I've got not enough space. Trip over everything. Okay, so if I can see you to work, which maybe I won't be able to. Um, if it's shining in my eyes, it just makes things worse. But I need to have my drill plugged in. My, my, my batteries are about dead on my cordless drill, so I couldn't use it. I didn't have it on. Well, you can't leave it on the charger. It won't, it, you know, even if the power goes on and off, it won't charge up automatically. It just, I tried that for a long time. It just, uh, well, that's such a small one. I don't think the, the drill won't check up on this one. It is so small. You know, maybe that's, I might still be able to get it with the head on it if I put the, get one with the head still on it. I'm off my picture, I think, on a... Yep. I didn't want to mess up my... <laughs> my eating tray, tray, my breakfast in bed tray. That's what I always thought of mess. That's all I ever... We used to have one way back in the 80s. And then I got this one, and I've had it for, I've been, I've had it since 2000 or something. And I won't get it straight. I don't know if that cordless drill would grab it better. Now that, no. It's just going to wobble. So my whole thing is, well, it's a good idea when it works. Let's put it that way. So, um, get, the, get my nails figured out here. I got two little packages of small nails and one smaller than the other. And I got them mixed up about which one is where. So what I need to do then is I do have little bitty drill bits. I just don't like using them because I'm always scared I'll break them. I may have one in this well, no, I don't know if I have one that little in this quick kit, but let's find out. That may still be in the view. Yeah. Anyway, I use this thing for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if I'm at the computer, I set it in my lap, and if I get it in the morning, I, I uh, set in the bed to eat, it, eat with it. I don't think this quick. No, it's too big. I've got some quick. These are really handy, but you've got to be careful with these little ones. You can just pull them in and out of your quick connectors. Quick hook up does. This one's even more handy. It's got a bigger, bigger deal you can put it in. This is a, most of my tools used to be, well not used to be, most of my tools are craftsmen, but they're not any good anymore, so I don't buy craftsmen anymore. But you can put this in there, and then you can put, if you want, you can put this in that, and then you can quick change these will go, see, these will go in here. You can quick change. It really helps. Uh, sometimes you need, you, maybe you want to use your cordless, you know, where you're at, or maybe your cordless is not working like right now. Anyway, there's a lot of good uses for that. Alright, I do have more. So, I'm 
if my eyes are going to get adjusted and I may have to figure out. I've got a power strip right up there, right up there, and I'm running, putting my camera plugged into it. I think I might be able to put the lights in there where I can plug it into that. Let's see what the smallest one in here is. I can't see it really good, but no, that's way too big. I can see when they're not too much too big. I've got a set of calipers over there. If I find something that looks right, I'll check it with the calipers. Now, the last time I repaired this, I, rep I don't know if I mentioned, I repaired this thing at least twice. And it, I, I don't remember if it split all the way down, but I do remember gluing it up before. And one thing I think I've discovered is, that's bamboo. I mentioned that a minute ago, but I didn't go into it because I got sidetracked. Bamboo really does stand up to the water pretty good, but... It doesn't, I just discovered not a single glue joint was still holding, and that's, that's why, you know, it was coming back apart and fell apart, and I think it's because it is so uh, non-porous, so slick, that the glue can't get into any pores to put it together. That's my theory. Anyway, I was going to mention a while ago. I started at about 3.45 in the morning. It's dark outside, and it's but it's I've got my schedule turned around. But it's better out here now. And this I need this thing. I actually ordered another one for about for, cost too much, 15 bucks. But I ordered another one, but it won't be here for a couple of days. And I thought, well, I should fix this one, and then I even have two of them and just use the new one all the time. And use this for backup. But uh, I'll be lost without it at all. I mean, I'll still have to let it dry for at least until tomorrow, but tomorrow night. Um, let's see. I have more drill bits. Okay, they're already opening out. So. I have enough tools to do most of the things I'd like to do. Seem dirty, but what else to do here? Let's see. Everything. Oh, now the mosquitoes have found me. They hadn't really found me too badly until just now. Well, maybe I'm not going right here. This may be my only choice. Yeah, I'll get my calipers up. It's my only choice, period. I think it'll work. I keep forgetting that I'm walking away. This is a nail. I'll cut the head off this one, of course, but uh, this is the nail. But, uh, does that make it where it can be seen? Not really. There it is in there. It's um, 43 thousandths. And this drill bit is bigger, I think. If it's too, if it's even, uh, yeah, it's too much. See, that's what you run into, and that's what got me into using drills. Can you, if it's too big, if it's too little, it'll split something really hard. Like that's really hard stuff too. But if it's too big like that, that's um, sixty-three or so thousandths. That will just will make that uh, make that nail just slip all the way. And now we'll slip all the way. Okay, I have another idea here. That is the smallest drill I have. Okay, these are too little for me to work with. As much as they're just the right size that I wanted to use, but they're too little to work with. <coughs> now, but uh, these other ones, they're longer, but they're still close in size. Let's see if I can use them. I might be able to cut the head off of one of these or if the drill will work. Let's see what size they are. I may have to try to turn that right on. Okay. Maybe this is actually the nail I used last time. This is 50, oh, 50, 58, 58 thousandths. And it, it, that's the drill I nail. Okay, and if my drill is... Uh, Right out 60. I'll have to drill a hole. I'll try a hole and see, but I think it may work. 
think that might work. If that don't work, then I'll try cutting. These are bigger. I can try cutting them. I could try that first. Well, this is so hard to be nice to use a drill, though, because nails will work okay in wood, you know, oak, ash, you know, any saw, any other soft wood, pine, or mahogany, or whatever. But they don't work. Oh, like white oak is a little harder than red oak. They don't work as good in white oak. They will work, but you'll you'll get it. Don't get it hot. Don't keep on drilling and drilling with it. Drill a hole, let it cool off. Um, and um, like this bamboo, I think is. It's very brittle, and I think it splits easy, and I think it's a lot harder than white oak. Uh, I've used, back in my cabinet making days in the 80s, I used uh, walnut. That's really hard. And the, and the uh, I learned, you can tell, they told me, and I didn't really believe them, the uh, walnut uh, Shavings, dust, one of the dust is toxic. And if you burn it when you're drilling it or cutting it, it will just, it will hurt like you're breathing drain oil and bleach mixed together. Don't ask me how I know what drain oil and bleach mixed together uh, feels like. I was a kid. I didn't know about it. I was trying to clean the drain out. But uh, don't mix drain oil and bleach mixed. Anyway, it says it on the bottle. <coughs> um, I'll try to drill first because it will do a better job. A little bitty one that I cut off. I guess I meant well, I won't throw it away just yet. Put it over here on the work bench, I guess. But, uh, drill bits. Leave them over here for now. Let's see. Man, like I said, I may have to get a little more. See if that was tight enough. See, I want it really long. I think I'll only let it stick out about the depth of the screw. I mean, the nail. Yeah, I'll just stop it about a little bit shorter. So my, well, about the depth of the nail. This may be. Oh, I forgot how fast that one goes. That's not one of those slow cordless screws. And my hands don't have any calcium in there. Let's see. Yeah, I think maybe I better give it a little more. Because... Now it's in the cooker. It's a little tricky to get these little ones in there. Yeah, I think that's about right. Because if you, if you want to drill pretty much the whole length of the nail with this bamboo because it's so uh, easy to split. If it was other woods, it's coarse. Uh, I would only drill half to three quarters of the length of the nail. And you'd be in good shape. You'd get, get a better bite out of it you know, when you drop it in there. You look here. You ever seen one of these? That is a yardstick. These were super common, and you could get them for a few cents to free. This is from Kmart here. We used to have a Kmart here in my town, and they closed it years ago when Walmart, actually before Walmart came in. But uh, it's kind of dark on one end because my mom found it and decided it'd be good to stick in the plant to hold it up. I gave her, I had some sticks that I had cut and cleaned up off trees and saved it for years, and I gave her one of those. Because that wasn't tough enough anyway, and I didn't want him to ruin it. We can make. This is the only one that was still straight. There's two more of them. They're bent and everything. I, they've been hiding in the garage for years. I forgot about them. If you can draw straight lines with them, you can measure with them. Not real accurate, but you can measure. Thirty-six inches long. That's three feet. That's a yard. Three. That's a yard. Okay. I used to. I'm cheap. I'm looking at it. <coughs> I used to know that like in the back of my hand, and then lately I was trying to think about it, and I couldn't actually remember for sure. So what I'm thinking is uh, maybe I can. Uh okay, now I'm going to bend this back out. This is the one that's split, and uh, I'll bend the. Uh, if you take the. Uh, 
So they're not even glued in anymore, these, these supports, but I can pull them apart. I want to do it right now. But I uh, split it up, put glue in there and everything. But first, before I start doing that, I'm going to try and drill some, I think the only way I'm going to really get it to hold together is to drill some holes and drive. It has like my lap joint, I guess you'd call it. Drill some, i gotta, got to miss that hinge. There's a hinge right there. Drill some holes ahead of time so that when I go to put it together, I either gonna have to put pressure on it when I drill it or something. But I think I'll do it before I pull it all apart and do that. And then because the uh, and I'm gonna put a nail here and one there on every corner. And uh, actually, the way since it has a lap joint, you could even put one there. I think I would do that after I got it stuck together this way. I wish I could put one right there, but that's that's going to be too close to the hinge. But I can see just by looking at it where to go. But I kind of need it like this. I need something sticking out of there. I have a shelf down there, just about the right height. Put a board on it. Oh, there's my bags. I have a uh, bag of rags. Oh, where is that? Piece of pine that I had ripped up or something. Then. Okay, so maybe I don't know if that'll even be anywhere close to in the picture. Oh, or if it'd stay up while I'm working. Where is it? Yeah, you can almost see that. I do think I need more light on this subject, though. So I think I'll get my light, put it over this way. Heavy lunch, and now I'm starting to get hungry again. Okay, now I can't put it in front of the camera. I guess. See, I'm not too close to me either. But I've been running back and forth. Let's see if I can do this without it being. Okay, that puts a lot of light on the subject. So maybe I can leave it there. That leads it to where I can still get around. Okay. Because I can't see good enough without lots of lights. Okay, now. I think if I... Yeah, I couldn't... Well, I can't really see the drill like that anyway. I need it down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I need to do a test drill into something. There's a nice little piece of piece of two before. Just drill one right in kind of in the middle. Oh yeah, I want another thing. When you want to drive nails and you don't want to split your wood. Spray your nails with some silicone. I just always spray the whatever container they're in, and if you don't, you want to lubricate the drill, keep spraying it ever so often, so you won't break the drill bit. Now, where's another one? I got a hammer, too. Crawl back here and get a hand, couple of hammers. Oh, I need clamps in the middle of it. I'm not sure. When I'm nailing it together, I may not end up needing clamps. just put that in my hand so that ain't working and that is the absolute smallest bit I got no working no working okay I got too much stuff around here I don't have room for anything okay well 
that was all fun. Fun and games, my uh, There, my thing is in the wrong place. A key wire. No, not key wire. Chuck key. But a chuck. My chuck key is uh, in the wrong place on the cord. Okay, so that's it. Gonna have to use a nail. I think those nails are going there though. But this time I won't cut the head off of it until I feel like they've got it. There's a place in this chuck. Yeah, it'll chuck up more though, maybe it won't. Let me put it in there the other way. You gotta have the pointed end out. No, I don't think this one will do it either. Yeah, maybe. Let me try uh, using the chuck key on it. If they're just close but not quite, sometimes you can leave the head on them and get it. Uh, get it to grab just the head because the that inside of that is kind of tapered. Yeah, that'll work. So I'll cut the head off. I'll just leave it there to do the cut. Just get you. These are not <laughs> for that, and I actually have an old pair of. You go get them. I use. Yeah, they're all right. These are pretty tough cutters. They're actually cable cutters, and they've got some divots in them already. They'll cut. I, I cut that other little nail, but I wasn't really cutting any bigger than that with them. That works it off easy. I use. I have an old pair of uh, uh, wire cutters that I used for cutting nails and stuff. I always had since the eighties. And. Uh, Actually, do you have a trash can down there? But uh, it's down in there where my hammer's on. Okay, now I gotta make sure and take this out, hook up the other way. And it won't be as long as my nail would have been, I mean, my drill would have been. I gotta at least get enough to get a bite on it, you know, on a quarter inch about at least. It's just sliding right now, but I kind of got my finger in that spot. Let's see. I'm going to cover that and put it back in there. Okay, yeah. At least about a quarter inch to, to get it, a bite on it and have it hang on to it. If that other I have one nail in there. It looks like it's about that size. I wonder if I just gave up and used that drill bit and uh, tried to glue it in. Or something. Well, the head, you know, that'll kind of, kind of, you know, make it stay. But it also, I can see where it split. I'm going a little further, maybe it'll get a hold of it. Something's better than nothing here. He grabbed it before. I just had to go in a little further. I don't have as near as much length as I would like to have. I'll try one and see. Let's see if I can get up here. Or what? I'm just lost. That one's just maybe lost. I'll find it later. I think it went over there under my tool bag. Oh, they're slippery from all that. I can hardly get them out of there from all that silicon. <coughs> so. Well, it's really blinding me when I walk over here. But uh, here this is. I don't know how I can hold it. And see the camera. Let me find her. Oh. For these kind of videos, you need a front viewfinder. Oops. 
guess I could move the light, couldn't I? Okay, there it is. Now if I can demonstrate the... If I can... Okay, I'm going to grab this by the head of the nail with a, some, some, uh, okay, so, so see, you can tell now, so you can tell it's about a little more than half. It's about half, maybe three quarters. So it's okay most of the time, but this stuff I'm a little worried because it's so hard. I may need to need a nail to hold the nail a bit. So let's do another chest drill here. And I, did I spray that? Especially with these nails, you want to spray them. I'll spray my garage over here with a little silicone. It'll help it work better. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that drill, that drill in the soft wood really well. Nail wood. Yeah, now that starts tightening up. You can stick it in there, but it'll start tightening up right quick before it gets to the bottom of the hole. So that'll work as far as in normal wood. We'll see what it does in this one. Okay, now. Make sure, you can even drill backwards with those, but you don't really need to. Make sure I'm still recording. <coughs> Okay, now where's the side of the split? That's the one I'm most concerned about right now. And try to get one in right there, and then one kind of in the middle there. And don't drill your hand. And don't even hit it with the chuck, that hurts too. I don't know. I don't know how straight that is, but it should be straight enough. I think it'll work. I like it. I'm just going to drill some holes and drill enough holes to, you know, get started and we'll see. I'll do this side first before I go. I want to split real bad before I go on to this one because there may be unexpected errors here. Now I can feel a little more resistance somewhere. Before it gets hot, I'm going to hit it with a silicone spray. This is what I'm talking about if you don't. Pure silicone spray. This one, you know, lubricates top switch. We always used it on all our, our screws, tool, uh, ta uh, table saws. They tell you nowadays, they say, oh, we're going to put that on your table saw. But they did it for all through the 70s and 80s. And it, was a, it was the way you did it. And uh, we, never, we never ruined one. And you did have to keep spraying it a lot because it would uh, start getting. I should be left it for too long after it started to kind of stop working, then the next thing we do is get sticky on me. So some of this other stuff they have now might be better. I haven't tried it. I don't know. Wax, I don't think would be as good as this, really. They say you use car wax and stuff. But I haven't. It would be a lot more of a pain in the butt. You don't have time for that when you're actually working. If you're doing projects, then you may or may be easy put around and watch it wax in your table saw lid and all the table saw deck and all that. But yeah, I'm going to wait on these two until I figure out how well this is working. If it's going to split it out real bad or anything, then it won't be much use. <coughs> but now what I'm going to have to do is get these screws out of the way. Keep going around and around as to where I want to put stuff. At least I have a little corner here to work with. Okay, so I got my got my glue. I got some good glue. I used this when I was building some bathroom cabinets. 
This is just about like I don't. Yeah, Type Bond is a brand I fully believe used over. The, used to use even back in the eighties. But uh, this is more a newer kind that's more resistant to water. And I saw it. It said premium. And I was like, and then, and then they had the regular kind, like we used to use in the cabinet shop in the shelf when I was at the, the hardwood store before I got it. And uh, I said, well, what's the difference in that? And I was kind of laughing at it. You know, what's the big deal there? He says, well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's supposed to hold up to water longer, you know, better. I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> and it, I think it does. This is pretty old now, but it's not dried up, I don't believe. But, uh, I did keep it in the house. It's at least two years old now. But I did keep it in the house so it wouldn't freeze or get too hot. The heat in the summer gets 110 out, you know, and here in, my, in Texas, North Texas in the summer, for sometimes, for, you know, quite several days a year, it would be 105 and above for a week or two at a time. And so it would have dried up by now if it was out here. And in the winter, it gets too cold out here and it'll freeze. I don't know how many bottles of blue the workshops we worked in, you know, we didn't have... Well, the first one I, I had a cat, you know, first cabinet shop, they did have big gas heaters, you know, hanging up in the roof. That's the one the other guy, last guy I worked for, he, we used uh, barrels made into wood burning stoves and we'd burn scraps in it. So, uh, we didn't have to go set the glue over there during them at night and hope they didn't freeze by the next day. But the breeze, Blue freezes. Once it thaws out, do you try to use it? Oh yeah, you can use it, but it won't hold nothing. Completely ruins it. <coughs> so, but this hasn't been frozen. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, now, which side? Oh, yeah, here's the split side, so. How do I do this? Okay, I think I've got it figured out. Now what I'm going to have to do, <coughs> I need something to wipe up glue with. I'm going to be need, I need it quick, close at hand, and easy to grab. Okay, I'm going to get any more in there. Only two little pepper shells left on that roll. I'll put those in my pocket. But these others are already kind of half used anyway. So. Okay, now. Let me tap this apart. Then. So, this is the side that folded down on me. Probably would dent that up less if I would use a smooth end of this. There you go. And you should have it. I don't have a ring for this in here. Well, I don't have my... I have a bunch of pants in here. Carpenter's pants. With hammer loops. That's not good. Okay, now. There we go. Now, I imagine you can see that. Yeah. It's split evenly. Straight down the middle. Middle of the night, I can't have my door open and it's hot and steamy. It's not, like I said, it's not like 95 degrees what it's been lately. But, uh, it was around 80. And I looked earlier and it was 80 uh, with this in my camera. It didn't look again that far. Y'all yeah, can see the dried glue before I've heard of glue this before. I can get my. It's really nice if I can get some of that off of there before I start to. Once I start gluing, I need to go ahead and put these in. Anyway, I don't have my air compressor or anything I'm not going to blow this off. I don't want to start sanding on it because then I have sawdust in the what I'm trying to do. I don't want to do it like this. I'll just throw this in. I don't want that there to... Uh... Oh, actually, I'm going to need to take those all the way out so I can glue the other end. So I guess I'm not going to get them out and I can scrape them. To be better anyway. All I need is just to get the uh, 
kind of debug the edges a little bit so they slide back in there again. Yeah, that glue didn't stick. I don't, I don't know that it was this glue right here. When I fixed this last time, it was probably before I bought this screw that I'm using this time. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but sometimes you gotta be in a position where you can work, you know? I'm just scraping it. And then I'm kind of scraping the edge down deep and chamfering the edge just just a tad so that it goes in there good. These hinges are put on with them. Uh, they're not nuts and bolts, which uh, they're uh, rivets. But you might think, oh, that's good. You know, they can't come loose. They won't come loose. But what's bad about them is you can't tighten them as the thing wears. So the legs swing in the breeze. And it's real prone. It's the one thing I don't like about it, I hate about it, is um, it will, the legs will fold up on you when you least expect it. And uh, sometimes you dump your food, you know, or uh, mostly when you're holding it, I can't really show it now, but when you're holding it, it will fold up and this one here will pinch the living crap out of your fingers, the one that's on the top. I noticed when I was looking at them, the new ones don't have this extra rail at the top. And a lot of them have cutouts. Uh, where your hands can go, that would also kind of keep you from getting some part like that. But there's no extra rail there, so I don't think you would get part like that. Anyway, hopefully this is, when I was putting this back together the other day, I had a tray full of food, and I had to take it all off. And uh, just stick it back together, and it did stay for a couple of days. I've used it two or three times since then. Anyway, it was really hard to get them back in their squats. But, uh, I think that's a good one. Yeah. We all should be, you know, close enough to the same size and the same, same length that none of that's really going to be all that important. Oh, I'm going to lose that. Not paying attention. Okay. I want to get, I just want to kind of see if there's anything in there. Because with it, I can use it as like a feeler gauge. Can't move it out to show it. But feeler gauge to see if there's any chunks of blue or anything in there. So, this, uh, the glue can, uh, you don't want big gaps, the glue, if it's real thick, it won't hold. You want it, this little gap is possible. So yeah, that one has some dry glue in it. I can see it coming out. Yeah, I would be blowing out the American carpet, getting everything really clean. That's one of the nice things about having an American carpet when you're doing it. Uh, most work, especially glue and stuff. <coughs> Would work. Okay, so. I'm going to, uh, just going to try to be careful and then wipe off what mess I make. Can't see the, oh, I've got a, can't see that in those holes, but I have, if that light still works, there we go. Yeah. Magnifying glass with the light. Yeah. One of them still has a bunch of glue in it. The end is a clean and the whistle. I'm not going to worry about it. And I really do have a good one. Where's my... Yeah, if you're just working by what you can feel, you may not be getting it on. Yeah, I think I've got most of it now. This one has some in it. Really feel the full one. Of course, 
can't get it all, but you can get the most of it and be quite helpful. Put that in my pocket. Okay, now. Okay, well, how long? Yeah, I'll put it in these, and then these, yeah, they're going to have to be standing. You can't see them, but the other ones are standing up and down, so. And I don't want it laying there. These can lay here while I do those, and then I'll do them one at a time, I guess. Or two at a time. Do the bottom ones, and then do these. Put that in either way. Let's put a little in here and see. Not too much, not too little. I mean, if it's, it's going to squeeze some out, that's fine. I can wipe it off. I'll try not to. You can get a wet paper towel and uh, maybe put some in that gap. At least in this one, I won't be able to glue all the others, the ones I'm not really able to take off. That's why I'm trying to really hard to nail them good. But whatever uh, squeezes out, I can wipe off with this piece of it. There's a big spoon came out of there. I thought I had it all cleaned out. Let's see, the air blower, I wouldn't have a problem. But anyway, I'll get, get one of these wet or two wet and wet. And uh, I think I'll start out. i start up in here. I don't know. It'll be a bit of a problem. Let me see. I'm going to lay out some paper towels to catch some of that. I don't want it all over the place here. These are not really thick enough. I need some brown paper. No, yeah, this would be... I was going to say, I might have some brown paper. So, there we go. Actually, I've got rag paper towels below right here. I always, uh, I, do that. I clean my glasses with the brand new paper towel because that's the only way you're going to get them clean. You know, with some Windex or glasses. I got this glasses cleaner stuff I use. And uh, then I don't want to use them for anything else, you know, like wiping your face or anything because that chemical will get on me. But uh, I hate to throw them away, so I keep them and then end up using them for. Uh, yeah, you can squeeze that right in there. That's not too much of a problem. Okay, so, um, yeah, and then whatever comes out, you get on the paper towel, and, uh, I think if I tap on it very, very lightly, I still may jack it up, so let's use this. That's what you're supposed to use. Use the wood block. Because I just got through burning that, but hammering on it will definitely jack it up. Okay, now I think I'll put another one in this end. There we go. Get it started a little bit and then get the other set in. Now, I'll do it to where I can't get that other one in there. This one I don't have anything to but there's a computer standing up on its side there plus a whole bunch of boxes so it's giving me something to back me up when I tap on it. 
drinking. I'll pour some out of the cup. A little bit for you, a little bit for you. A little bit for me, a little bit for you. Something like that. Okay, now. Well, you can kind of see what I'm doing over there. I didn't realize I had that much of a view of the back side there. But yeah, if you get the glue, I see all these, I love to watch woodworking videos and I'll learn all kinds of techniques. Because we built cabinets you build, you cut a lot of lumber, you can make styles, do it face frames they call them, and you do make a lot of boxes. Drawers are boxes, cabinets are boxes, and you can, we got to make some pretty stuff, but I mean it was all nice looking. We, I did custom, well the first cabinet shop I worked in was... Uh, better than prefab, but uh, it was for trap houses. But then the next one I worked in was uh, custom homes, nice homes, big homes. And uh, so we got to make some nice trim, nice, nice cabinets, nice looking cabinets. And we made the uh, raised panel doors and flat panel doors, double arch and everything. And we made a few entryway doors. We had lots of nice tools, or we got them along the way anyway, or the owner did. I didn't own them. So all this needs to go in the trash, I'm just going to get glue on everything. I'm going to get the glue. I'm going to wipe up before I finish that part. I guess I should have left my water over this way. I hate wasting my drinking water, but... That's so wet, I should be able to get more out of that. Okay. Anyway, if you wipe it, wipe it right away, and don't let it drip all over everything, then um, you won't have glue all over everything that you've got to try to sand or scrape off because you spend more time scraping glue than you did doing your work. If you let it dry like that. Now, and I see all these people that, a lot of them, you know, they make some pretty nice looking stuff, but they just leave. And I just made a mess in there. Because I didn't 